Hey, I'm Caleb Dennison, and this is DT Daily. Coming up, Google Glass hacks itself, a flexible electronic breakthrough, and Verizon jumps on the phone swap plan bandwagon. One of Google Glass's automated features is the ability to scan and decode any QR code in its field of vision. It's a useful feature that allows Glass to, among other things, set up Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections. Sounds great, right? Sure, unless you encounter a malicious QR code. A firm called Lookout Security discovered and tested this vulnerability, creating a QR code that told Glass to connect to a Wi-Fi network and send data to it. Through this, they were able to see pictures from Glass, intercept data, and send a web vulnerability back to Glass. The good news is Lookout disclosed the hack to Google, and a patch to fix the vulnerability has been released. Flexible electronic devices have been on the horizon for years now. It seems like they're always on the way but they never actually get here. So what's the holdup? Well, the main problem is that metal, heavily used in electronic circuits, has a funny way of not wanting to stretch. But a breakthrough by researchers at the University of Michigan may just solve this dilemma. They embedded spherical gold nanoparticles in a polyurethane coating and produced a conductive metal that can stretch to nearly six times its normal length. Under an electron microscope, the nanoparticles align into a web-like chain when stretched similar to human veins. And with these organic properties, the metal could potentially be used as electrodes for brain implants. Researchers are also looking to see if less expensive metals will behave the same way. Hey Verizon customers, have an extra few hundred bucks laying around? Want to upgrade your nearly new mobile device? Well, you're in luck. Following T-Mobile's jump and AT&T's next, Verizon is unveiling its own four-letter phone upgrade scheme called Edge. Not Edge as in the totally outdated cell network. No, that would be silly. Edge as in it's going to take a big old slice out of your wallet. It's similar to AT&T's plan and allows you to pay for your device in monthly installments. And after six months, you can upgrade. Ah, uh, but here's the rub. In order to trade in your device, you'll have to pay off at least half of its full retail price. What? That's like 325 bucks for an iPhone 5 and you won't get a price break on the service plans that subsidize discounted phones on two-year contracts. And so it would seem that this scheme is only for people who've gotta have a new device every six months and have a bottomless bag of dough to throw at their beloved wireless provider. Yay for those guys. And that's DT Daily for this week. We'll see you on Monday.